Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are dipping into the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox for our wearable Wednesday look. So, let's jump in and create something. so excited for wearable Wednesday to pop back around here so I could play in this gorgeous palette so we are going to create something wearable but fun today I think I'm gonna grab some glitter that I have so I have already primed my lids with the Gerard clean canvas I base and fair and there will be a link in the description this stuff is amazing I am going to pick up a Sigma brush and I'm going to start out with the E25, I think. I'm going to dip into this color here called Stone Age and I'm going to lay that down as my transition. I'm just going to lay this right above the crease. I'm going to lay, I don't, I, I apologize about my light guys, I don't understand why it's washing me out once in a while when I turn or move. I've tried to fix it, I don't know what's going on with it. So I'm going to put a good little bit of color down and then I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in with the E44 and blend that out. Now we are going to dip into this color here uh, called Obsidian. We're just going to deepen up that crease. This is going to be such an easy look for anybody to create. And then I'm going to run that right here underneath that transition shade into my crease and in the outer third. Kind of in a V shape, just like that. Now I'm going to pick up the E38 and I'm just going to blend that in. My crease. I love how that color is like a, a burgundy, but it shows up like a black gray on the eye. So we're just going to lightly blend that in the crease and in the outer V. Then I'm going to go in with a little bullet brush and this is the Morphe M431. Then we are going to pick up just the smallest amount of this shade right here. And that is called Rumor Mill. We're gonna bring that right here on the inside of that burgundy color we laid down. I'm just going to deepen up that color. Then we're gonna go back in with this brush right here that we started out with, Obsidian. And then we're just going to take the edge of our brush and blend that color into the gray and just kinda buff that in because we're just wanting to deepen up this outer third. And I'm just gonna go back in with this brush and just kinda blend just a little bit. And pull it back just a little to create that nice sharp little point now we are going to go in with a shader brush. The only one I can find right now. I've moved a lot of my brushes. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and we are going to dip into Dreamful, this color right here. We're just going to get a little bit on the brush. And we're going to pat that on the lid where we didn't put any color. OK, 
kind of fill in where we didn't have any color. You don't want to cover up entirely um, the gray that we put in there, but you want to go right underneath it. And if you have to go back in two or three times to make it intensify the color how you like it. Of course, I'm going to intensify it as much as I can. I'm going to go back in with Obsidian. And we're going to just put a little bit right here at the end of the white. Kind of like you're doing, like if you're doing a cut crease. Just want to deepen up that outer edge. So it'll be kind of diffused. Now we are going to go in with our NYX glitter glue and some NYX glitter in the color 05. This JSC um, shader brush. I've got just a little bit on there and I'm just going to run that kind of all over well kind of all over the white that I used for the white and I'm just going to pat it on my lid like so now I'm gonna go over and do the other eye and I'll be right back okay now I'm going to jump off here and do my liner and my lashes and I'll be right Guys, back now I'm back I put on my House Laboratories liner in punk, and I put on my lashes in Georgina from Lash Scoop. Now we are going to dip back in to Obsidian, this one right here, and we are going to put that in the under eye. I'm going to go in with this Essence Pencil in the color Honeyberry, and I'm gonna do my waterline. If I had a gray pencil, I would much rather use a gray pencil in my waterline, but the only kind that I have is like a really bright, um, like a metallic looking gray, so that really wouldn't go good. So I'm using the, the Honeyberry, and now I'm going to go in with Obsidian, and I'm just going to run that along my lash line. Now, you do not have to do liner and lashes on this look. I just wanted to. And you don't have to use the um, NYX glitter. But I thought I would just, you know, it's still a wearable look. Go back into Stone Age, the color that we started out with. And I'm just going to run that underneath that upside and color. And then we will blend that out. And I'm going to just take my blending brush and blend that. And then I'm going to go into uh, the Balm Volume 1 or 2. And I'm just going to throw on some blush. And I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. I'll go into Frat Boy, this one right here. And then for highlighter, I think I will go into the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Grace. And I will spray my face with the uh, Slay All Day Setting Spray in Mango. I got this in my mystery box. And then I think I will go in with my Huda Lip Kit in Muse, and I think that will go good with this color. And then I will go in with the strobing gloss and just put a dot in the middle. 
and that's it. This is the end of this tutorial, but honestly, you don't have to go in with the glitter if you don't want to, but I thought it would make a cute little sparkly moment on the eye. Um, you could change it up uh, however you would like. Um, if I would have had a gray pencil, I think I would have liked the under eye a little bit better, but you can change up any um, of the colors for however you like it. But I hope you like this little wearable Wednesday um, sparkly little eye. Um, I thought it was really cute. It's really fast. It don't take very long. Um, I think this whole thing took me 15 minutes uh, to do. But of course I had to do the rest of everything else. Um, and of course I was videoing. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. And uh, tell me what palette you would like to see in next Wednesday's Wearable Wednesday. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.